SpaceX uh, capsule splashed down with two astronauts on board that have been up at the space station for the past nine months, uh, along with two other astronauts that have returned with them. And we are joined by Dr. Sarah Webb, astrophysicist at Swinburne University, who has been with us as we've been playing out these live shots. Now, Dr. Webb, we're seeing Crew 9 at the moment. Big smiles on their faces. Huge smiles on their faces. They look incredibly thrilled to have seen the daylight again through that little hatch, I think. Uh, I'm sure they're very excited for the next couple of minutes when they start to be able to egress out through that hatch and, um, and return to the Earth officially. Yeah, and a lot of patience needed here. I mean, these are just such exciting shots, but there's quite a process here, isn't there? There is quite a process. As you can see, that capsule, although it is pretty spacious compared to some of the original Soyuz capsules that were used, it still is very cramped and they've been in there for over 17 hours now. Uh, but getting them out safely, again, their bodies are not used to gravity they are going to find it very hard to even just move their limbs like normal mm. so getting them in and out is going to be a bit of a, a challenge and a struggle so they're going to do it in a very methodical way which you'll see unfold on your screens shortly and so yeah that will involve assistance there is it because you know this is a return to gravity for <laughs> them and that's really going to take its toll they've got medical personnel there of course uh, all these checks and balances to make sure that they're okay and that this is smooth that's exactly right. And this happens with every crude um, return that, that happens on Earth. We always have medical personnel. We have stretchers. There's doctors that check them and they're always assisted out of the capsule. So this is what we should expect to happen. Uh, but it's a good sign that they're all smiles and waving at the camera, looking very excited to, to get to exit. Yeah, really great to get those shots from inside there that we got mm. just for the moment there. And, you know, I heard in the live commentary there just saying, you know, for people to rewind and look at that splashdown, um, you know, to our viewers, of course, we will be playing that throughout the day. It was a very exciting moment. And Dr. Yeah. Webb, I mean, just it has all unfolded so smoothly after what wasn't a smooth mission. <laughs> it has un un unfolded beautifully. I think the images from today, just even the dolphins swimming around that capsule, you couldn't have, you couldn't have pictured a a more beautiful, a more smooth welcome to the Earth. And I think it's all gone picture perfect. And as the astronauts await all of these checks and this process that has to play out, you know, they've been up there for a while and they have spoken about what they're looking forward to here on Earth. I know, you know, a dog walk might be amongst that, but what have they had to say about that? <laughs> I think they're each looking forward to not only seeing their family, but getting back to some of the more ma mundane things that we take for granted. So things like dog walking or being able to go to a library and picking up a book, being able to pick up a different hobby here and there, or just even being in nature. I think what we forget and we take for granted every day is that we can go outside and be amongst trees and birds and beautiful wildlife, which they can see from space, but they don't get to experience. And I, I hope that they get to enjoy that over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, they are such mundane tasks and it, it just seems mm. so funny that that's what they would be missing when they're achieving so much up there. But that is the case. They're not the first to have said that. They, you know, the first thing they want to have is the fresh air uh, here yeah. on Earth that they breathe in. Um, but, you know, while they were up there, and I know we were speaking about this earlier, but can you just recap for us just how valuable uh, they were in these nine months that they were at the International Space Station, what they were able to achieve up there? They contributed so much to science. So they integrated into Crew 9, which is what we're seeing return here, is these four individuals were part of Crew 9. And what they achieved was hundreds of science experiments contributing to the maintenance of the International Space Station, as well as using their human bodies to contribute to our understanding of what space does to not only our, our bodies on the surface, but on, a a on the DNA level, essentially, which is remarkable in itself. And for years, to come, we will still be learning from this mission, uh, which is a gift that they've given to science in longevity.